Hello everyone, welcome to today's photo piece tutorial. Today's tutorial is about the eraser tool. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'll be using a simple background image to demonstrate the functions of the eraser tool. So with the eraser tool, there are three main functions which we'll get to in a minute. But to just simply demonstrate the eraser tool, click or Click and hold, and as you can see, it's erased part of the background. So, to get on to the three main functions, first is opacity. Drop the opacity, and as you can see, it has decreased the level of erasure it has done. It has only faded the pixels, not completely gotten rid of them. So, if you go over this again and again, it will erase more of the pixels in the background. So, Control Z that, and that basically covers opacity. So, let's move on to flow. Flow is pretty much useless at high percentages. So if we drop it down to a low percentage like this, 11%, we can properly see its functions. So, flow functions like this. It fades part of the image, but in a slightly different way. As you can see, it's a little more gentle with it. However, if you go over it, again and again it will erase more and more of the pixels so flow is probably the most useful for fading effects so keep that in mind for your projects so last of the three basic functions is this smoothness Smoothness is relatively useless at low percentages. Let's just demonstrate low smoothness to no smoothness. And as you can see, there's basically no difference. So put the smoothness up to 100%. And there's a pretty cool thing you can do with it at 100%. Click and just hold down and you can create a perfectly straight line. which will probably be useful for cutouts, which is a fantastic function. So those are the three basic functions. So if we drop them down to normal settings, we can move on to some side things before I end this tutorial. So drop down this menu up here and you will see there is a selection for the pencil tool. The pencil tool doesn't really do much things different from the normal eraser tool. As you can see, it's a little more square-like and jagged, but that doesn't really serve much of a different use to the normal eraser tool, apart from maybe slightly more control over what you're erasing. However, that is not the only side function, as there are some sub-tools for the eraser tool. So, right-click on this, and you'll see the background eraser. However, the background eraser has basically no use for this image, because it doesn't really have any complexity to it. So, it's just going to act like the normal eraser tool. So, this tool may be useful for some more advanced images, but for a simple background image like this, it serves no purpose. However, the magic eraser, it almost like acts like basically a worst ver version of magic cut. Basically, it does this. It's pretty dire. It leaves loads of gaps. So I wouldn't recommend using this tool for pretty much anything. So, to recap what we've done in this tutorial, we have covered the basic 
three functions of the eraser tool along with some sub functions like the pencil tool background eraser and magic eraser so this is it for today's tutorial if you enjoyed like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial